Spreading the joy of Christmas around the world by ministering to children through a simple present. Our Josh Peterson shows how area churches are preparing shoe boxes for a good cause. The sound of kids packing a Christmas present carries many similarities to the sounds of kids unwrapping a present on Christmas morning. Over 70 kids at the Bemidji Evangelical Covenant Church prepped, packed, and in some cases wrapped. Shoe boxes filled with necessities and toys as part of Operation Christmas Child. It's an easy way to, um, to minister to a child and to show God's love to a, ch to a child. Through this extension of area churches, kids get to see the world in a new light and learn the spirit of giving while reaching children all over the world who may not receive a Christmas present. I think it helps them grow. It helps them understand that the world is bigger than just where they live and that there's many people in the world. While some kids came prepared and shopped for items ahead of time, others got to choose from items that were purchased by Shirley Schultz, who saves up each year just so that kids who normally wouldn't have a Christmas could have one. This is a way that I can uh, connect with children and, and, um, and give. Evangelical Free Church across town is the main drop-off site for all shoe boxes. Area churches will bring all their shoe boxes here, where they will be stacked, <laughs> packed, and shipped down to the Twin Cities before they get sent around the world. They say that each shoe box will affect uh, 10 to 12 people because they're going to take this shoe box home. They're going to share it with their family, with their neighbors, with their friends. By the time the kids at Bemidji Covenant were done filling their boxes, a stack of 70 presents sat waiting to be delivered, but not without a prayer of joy and thanks for those who will receive their gifts. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. This is Collection Week across the state for Operation Christmas Child. For a link, for more information about the program, you can visit our website at lptv.org news, and that's where you'll find more information. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.